1968. He was named the supervisor of officials. He helped usher in the growth of TV with instant replay as they tried to figure out how this thing was going to work. And the best thing I liked about him was that he always thought if you were invisible and not in the headlines, after a game, you had a successful day. A tremendous teacher. Here's Boom. Well, it is now, as we would like to say, official. Art McNally is going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. At the end of today, as you've heard earlier, there will be 362 members here in Canton. He is the very first official. He began on the field in the NFL back in 1959, then served the NFL as supervisor and director of officials starting in 1968, as well as many other responsibilities through 2015. If you add that up, Art is 97 years old. I should say 97 years young. 57 of those he spent in the National Football League. If you're wondering, the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, has 10 umpires. The Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts, has 16 officials, as does the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, Canada. Art McNally is a trendsetter. Then again, he's always been one. When the league wanted to change some of the rules in the 70s to help the offense, help the passing game, he was the main man that crafted the rules. He is called the father of instant replay, not so much because he invented it, but because he implemented it and kept upgrading it because the goal was to get the call right, or at least be fair. That was his credo. That's why his phone number back in the day in the Philadelphia area was still in the Philadelphia phone book. Remember when we used to use phone books? Irate fans could actually look up his number and call to complain about a call. And as long as there were no obscenities in those phone calls, he would take the time to the fan to explain the call. The great referee Jim Tunney said, I would play poker over the phone with Art McNally. That's how much I trust him. Art's presenters, his grandchild, Connor O'Hara. My grandfather is Art McNally. He was an NFL official, the director of officials, and Larry's career game observer. Talk about a quarterback preparing to throw the ball. Literally, he's uh, defenseless. And by rule, defensive player, whether unintentional or not, if he strikes the quarterback in the head, it is a foul, and our people must call the foul. Throughout his decorated career, Art McNally helped bring order to the beautiful chaos of pro football. He served as field judge and referee for nine seasons before spending 23 years as the league's supervisor of game officials. His legacy includes introducing to the NFL one of its truly transformational elements, instant replay. The idea of instant replay was we need to do whatever it takes to get the call right. If it takes technology, then that's what we should be using. Today, every single major sport has instant replay implemented. It just shows that he wasn't scared of technology. He wasn't scared of changes. He just wanted to do what it took to get the right call. Everything that he did was in the idea of what's fair. We got to make the call right. We got to make the game fair. That would be totally unfair to then take a possible position or to perhaps prejudge something that may happen on the field. We simply will not do it. He's not going to sugarcoat anything. He's not going to hold back. The truth is the truth. And his integrity is something that everyone brings up when they speak about my grandfather. He's the definition of an honest man. McNally's honesty and integrity were immortalized in 2002 when Commissioner Paul Tagliabue created the Art McNally Award, a fitting nod to a man who led by example. So the Art McNally Award was started in 2002, given to an official that exemplifies leadership sportsmanship and integrity. The officials who get it really hold in high regard, and we're really proud of that. Over the five decades that he spent with the NFL, McNally modernized officiating and helped to create the game as it is played today. Given his immense influence, it is fitting that he is the first on-field official to be enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Being enshrined in the Hall of Fame means the world to my grandfather. 
He wasn't a guy who really wanted the spotlight. Officials aren't wired that way. But being in the Hall of Fame is such a prestigious honor that I think he'll say himself, I'll be in the spotlight for this one. My grandfather being the first official inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame is an incredible honor. He's representing a lot of great men that have spent a lot of hours and dedicated their lives to the NFL in the background. And he's the first to be able to get his name on the big lights and get a bus in Canton. We're so proud of it. I'm honored and privileged to present my grandfather, Art McNally, for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Art McNally for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Art's grandchildren, Shannon and Connor O'Hara. On behalf of the McNally family, we are proud to be in Canton representing Art. He is watching back at home with the great anticipation of his enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He wanted to share this. He loved officiating, what it meant to football and to his life. I've been very fortunate with having a career for many years in football consistently one of the finest staff of officials throughout the country. I know from the dedication, the love of the game, the desire to go out onto the field every uh, weekend, to see to it that the game is played according to the rules of the National Football League. I'd also like to say that when they officiate, they officiate for those players on the field and for those respective coaches in the sideline who have tremendous pressure on them. And finally, for the number of people throughout the country, the millions of our fans whose passion and love of the game has made it so great. I am extremely fortunate to have been in this position. And once again, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame. This is the greatest thing I think for an official. Do the job. Hopefully nobody's even going to know you're around. Make the calls the proper way the way they should be with a heavy dose of common sense. Mm. It was so great to hear from Art, and as his son says, his dad Honest, hardworking, it's what the hall is really all about. What a tremendous impact on the game. Ahead, 